All right, folks, so welcome back to Are We There Yet? We continue with Clyde, and you'll only, you won't believe me, but I'm going to show you. We only went and won a gosh darn game, a league game at that, with real points and everything. But we even scored goals, and we won two in a row. Crazy scenes. So, yeah, I mean, you know, we, <laughs> it's still not good enough, but we're, Signs of life, signs of life. From little acorns, do teams be relegated? So, yeah, we won a couple of games. We beat Peterhead, Sandy McCluskey got two goals in a couple of minutes. Big sand, and then an absolute oh, swashbuckler of a game, if that's a term. Uh, Aloha Athletic at home, three-two, two-one down with a well in the ninetieth minute. But we had two penalties. We actually had three penalties. You'll see Max Wright, he missed one. So <laughs> we... Uh, line up. Yeah. So he, he, he actually missed one before we took the rest, before we took the other two. And, and penalties have been a bit of a theme, uh, so it appears. So, yeah, we managed to score a 96-minute winner through Sandy McCluskey to make it six points in six. Form side in the league, surely. And then we played away at Airdrie and... Edry are top of the division at the moment. They're running away a bit. And another penalty. So that's three penalties in two games. Four and against, uh, you know, you could argue. We had Sean Wilson sent off for a second book. It seemed as though the referee was a little bit on their side, if you ask me. And then we had another two penalties. This game irked me, though, because they went down to nine men and then managed to score a last-minute, or well, near-last-minute equaliser because uh, Stuart MacArthur dallied on the ball from our corner. So he just stood there and let them tackle him and then just booted it up and, and uh, Bobby Lynn... Managed to equalise for Arbro, so that was that was a bit of a disappointment. And then a way of breaking, no penalties this time, but just classic football. Two two again, we led, but we well we were behind at half time. We then led after half time, and then Kyle Clark probably earned them a good share of the spoils. So we take a good break from league action, but let's just have a quick look at the table. Eighteen points now. The board wants us to avoid automatic relegation. So I take that to mean, because we could still go down in this ninth place playoff against the League 1, uh, sorry, League 2 playoff victor. I, I assume that that means if we did that, that would be satisfactory to the board. So effectively, they're just saying, don't finish bottom. You know? And if Peterhead can't only beat... Uh, that's... Yeah, the only, the only time they win is against us. But we're playing Killy today. It's Kilmarnock. Let's hope... We can not, well, I mean, do you expect us to win? Do they expect us to win? Probably not. A couple of changes needed. There's a few issues affecting the squad in terms of, if, what do you call, what, do you, what would you say? Fitness, injuries, that kind of thing. I think what we do, though, is we bring Sean Wilson back in and move him out left because we had McNiff playing at left back recently just because, well, just because, really. We'll also get Davidson in, and I think we drop Miller back. Uh... Max Wright has scored a couple of goals, although they were both penalties, and of course he did miss a penalty. So we'll, we'll give uh, Shemislav Daknovitz his starting berth back. And I think that's how we... Yeah, that's probably how we line up today. Davidson's on the bench. Normally probably start him ahead of MacArthur, but he's probably not fit enough to start. So I think we play, we're play. we playing at home. Kilmarnock, FA Cup action at the Broadwood. I wonder how many tickets we sell. Will it be more than 16? Place your bets now. I'll see you pitch side in just a second. So there are your teams, and you've probably got some more familiar faces in the Kilmarnock side. Nigel Rio Coker. That's is that Don Cowie? I think it is. Yep, Don Cowie. The uh, I remember it well. Yeah, I mean he's. You would say looking at this history there, he's actually he's never really spent. I mean, he spent one season. It looks like at Wigan, but everywhere else he spent at least a couple of years. Uh, I think he's done quite well wherever he's been. Martin Craney is that uh, Gordon Greer. So players you know and players that'll probably destroy us. Let's let's be honest, but we'll give it a go. What have we got to lose? Well, respect, obviously, but what other than other than respect and and morale and uh, job, perhaps, you know, what what else what else can we lose today? That's quite a lot to lose, though, isn't it? Maybe can we win? Let's win. I've just I've, that's the shout. And on cue, here we go. Datnovitz first game back. Macarthur, oh, nice ball down the line to Duffy. Datnovitz. Not sure what that was, but we'll let him off. He's he's just returning from injury. Probably won't make it through the ninety. Is uh, but I was going to say storage. <laughs> uh, that's terrible, isn't it? And yeah, man over far side, lad. Far side, far side. 
Oh, he did quite well, did the McNifster. Uh, but Rio Coca, all the experience, the international experience of Nigel Rio Coca, just picks the ball up. And they resorted to long ball, long ball tactics. And uh, it's, that was, well, two minutes wasn't bad, was it? Uh, Jordan Jones with the goal. As Nigel Rio Coca. I mean, that, that we could dream of having a player like Nigel Rio Coca. But for all their quality, this is the ball that wins, that gets the goal effectively. Oof to Brophy. And uh, it's a good chest down. And really, it's pretty poor defending. He's let that run through his legs instead of block it. Don't know what number two is doing. Duffy sort of stumbles over a thin air. It's like, I don't know what he's doing there. It's the duster. I think we, yeah, we, we saw long enough there. Come on, come on. Boobage's free kick. Headed in and it's McNiff. Inside five minutes, it's 1-1. One, one. Immediate reply from the bully wee. McNiff. Lovely ball in by Burridge. Excuse me, Burbage. Sturridge as we'll call him. And uh, McNiff rose heist. Unmarked, unchallenged. And uh, goalkeeper number 26 not keeping that one out. So, yeah, good start. It's all action. And uh, Sean Wilson picks up the throw in. McNiff goes long. He's uh, sort of much dumping that out, but he wants to put a bit more angle on that, really. And it is James to Kit Kilty. Good ball in, but Curry's there. Curry could be the difference for us. He's a better goalkeeper than our level, certainly. Duffy, again, some questionable balls going through, but then uh, I suppose, you know, space is going to be at a premium for a, a side like ours. We're not particularly good. That's a terrible header by Duffy. So, number two has been a little bit questionable from Duffy. And Brophy, uh, uh, presence of mind to square the ball over to the far side. And Greg Kilty slots home. Basically an open net. It's that header there, really. If you can't make it safe, you know, get it to your own man. You want to be putting that into, well, into the stands, really. Uh, Cowie, good ball. That is good movement by Brophy. The first touch out of his feet there. McNiff sort of lets him go. Most players would have shot. In fairness, he could have easily scored. I like the goalkeeper gloves that uh, that we're sporting there on Curry. They look like surgical, well, surgical surgeon's glove. Yeah. Corner ball, 20 minutes played. Rio Coca and Brophy. Brophy's tearing as a new one. Uh, right on the goal line he was anyway, so he just stabbed it in past our static man on the line. And we're pretty much done inside 20 minutes. Rio Coca flick. I mean, who is at the near post? What are you, this clutch of five here doing? I mean, come on, lads. One of you must have been marking. So we're approaching half time. Sean Wilson takes a throw into Burbage, goes to McNiff. I mean, I, I sense disaster, and there it is. So instead of playing a short pass to his own man, he just launches it into an area where there's, there's no white shirts, and Cowie's in. Cowie deserves a goal. Um,. Ruffy deserves about seven because he's been the best player on the pitch by a country mile. At half, that really shows the difference. It may only be two promotions effectively away, but my God, it's, you know... Uh, Stuart MacArthur, Stuart, Stuart MacArthur, Stuart MacArthur seems to think that playing rubbish is acceptable in this league. Or in any... I oh, know we're not in the league. But he seems to think that me saying, can we play better, is, oh, it's too much. It's too much. What do you expect? Well, I expect better, mate, because you're coming off. You can come and sit next to me and tell me why you think a 6.2. Because the team talk reflects that, son, doesn't it, really? You, you're the worst player that we had out there. I mean, you're not alone, but you're one of the worst players that we had out there tonight. Uh, Barry Vance McCluskey, and I thought that might have been going in, but it was just over. Uh, we've had more bids for Sandy McCluskey from Hearts during the transfer window, but effectively they're offering us, you know, it's like offering a bag of crisps and a, and a you know, a copy of the Sunday Times. It's, it's not enough, you know. £2,000 is all well and good, but we want, you know, we're looking for at least half a million for the boy. So don't don't come down here with cheap offers and expect me to give you my uh, one of my better players. As Scott Ferguson gives us some hope. Uh, Datnovitz played over to him and he uh, put it beyond Bell in goal. Lovely, uh, lovely strike it looked like. Probably a goalkeeping error though. Uh, Barry picks it up. <clears throat> deflected nicely into the path of Sean Wilson. But he does better with it. Does he? Yes, he does. Nice pass into uh, Bubbage. Although Bubbage didn't know anything about it. Tackled. Ferguson's the man over, and that's a good finish, really. Uh, well, is it, though? Because Bell probably Bell probably could should have done better. <laughs> but 
But all in all, yes, they've had three clear cuts, but they have scored all three of them. We haven't had any, but we have scored two goals. So, you know, we're not being disgraced by a Premier League outfit, although they, they are bottom of the Premier League. Um, it could get better. Burbage and... Well, I don't even know. what It just headed straight into the goalkeeper's arms there, I thought. thought he should have done better. He missed when it was easier to score. And let's, let's make a change, shall we? We've already got MacArthur off because he thinks it's OK to play rubbish. Do we take McCluskey off? I don't think we do because we haven't really got anyone capable of doing any better than him. We'll get right on uh, just because Datnovitz is probably a little bit tired. And we'll just say, we'll just tell him to push forward. It might work, it might not. Duffy takes a throw in here. It is right, and that's wrong. Here's Irwin. Finds Cowie. They're going to score with another uh, ball across, I think. Good ball. Another cross. Oh, a good save, actually, from from the Curry Meister. And McCluskey is running nowhere for us. So, last five. Can't really do anything else at this stage. You never know, though. Davidson over a free kick. It's gone long. Barry's there. Was that it? Was that the moment? It looked a little bit tame. Uh, goal kick, and Davidson wins it, though. He's right with another terrible pass. You can see why he doesn't start very often. As uh, Kilty gets away from Burbage and finds Brophy, who's in on a hat-trick, and I think that's his hat-trick, is it? No, it's a brace. I think he's got two assists and two goals, so he's he's torn us apart. Absolutely torn us apart. It's so simple as well. You know, we're not being beaten by good goals. They're just... You know, well, it's coming now. I mean, it's it's probably gone out. That ball is what kills us. You know, he's just kicked it. He's not he's not craft. He's just kicked it, and Curry Curry makes no real attempt. So that's going to be the end of our cup campaign. I think statistically, there we've we've probably been in the game. We just we don't have the same players or quality that they do, or rather. They don't necessarily have good quality players. It's just that they don't have idiots like we do. So is Burbage. Finds right to McCluskey. He's been a little bit off. He's off colour today. You'd have to say Davidson uh, loses out. Uh, but Barry brings it away. There's only 30 seconds to go. Right, he's probably going to play another terrible pass. He finds Duffy this time. He's right. What can he do? Not a lot. Well, it was one of his better balls. Davidson finds Barry. Burbage. Crossed, no, and Ferguson. So that's the end of, uh, as I say, our cup campaign. But 3,000 in the crowd today, not the 16 we got against Rangers. 3,000 screaming, angry fans. Unlucky boys. I think we were a little bit unlucky. I think they, they benefited for some ricochets and they just played long ball a little bit when you know they got the ball into the channel and uh, just exploited their, their better pace. But not to worry. It's, there's always another year and we can focus on being relegated from League One at this stage. Oh, I'm full of optimism. I'm full of optimism. I can't even scroll down anymore. This is this is all we've got left to play with. So I think we've probably got two, maybe three more games to go uh, for live comms. We've seen East Fife. We've seen Peterhead. Let's see Airdrie, shall we? Airdrie at home. They are league leaders. Well, they were league leaders. They, had, they must have collapsed a little bit because they were well top at the moment. Well top. There's a new term for you. They were They were pulling away no problem. So they must have fallen off a little bit but we'll see where we are at that point we'll probably do Airdrie then maybe look at Wraith away and then finish at home to Peterhead I mean home to Peterhead could well be the game uh, <laughs> that could well be a, the definition of I mean that could be a playoff in itself effectively we'll see how we have to do so yeah we'll probably do those three Airdrie then Wraith and then Peterhead separate videos and and then we can evaluate the season which has been mostly awful Excellent. All right, well, do pop a like on the video for me. At least, uh, you know, we, we did give them a game, at least, Kilmarnock. We, I don't think they had to really work hard to, to beat us, but we gave them a game. Uh, do subscribe on the channel as well. Always great to see. And I'll see you again on the next video. Goodbye.